Beta Tester, I do not accept that one man cannot make change. And you will not accept it either. I have seen literal screenshots make these genital surgery fantasizers seethe. If we have briskly moved on from mocking to needing to silence whispers, then you telegraph the necessity and your sensitivity to the opposition. This is weakness, and they know you're afraid. Make me a martyr if you're stupid, but I've owned the kick me sign to make damn sure that the irrefutable deets reach people that I know are forced to recognize this motherfucker has a point. I'm gonna speak my mind, beta tester, as is my right, and I ask that you like subscribe and comment on this video to increase its range for all the times that I refuse to shill or choke you with sponsors instead of trying to inform you at great personal cost. Jump into my discord, this isn't a thing I'm just saying to you, if you want more in the event of whatever may happen because I'm running my mouth about video games. Listen to this from Disney, quote, Generally, our revenues and profitability are adversely impacted when our entertainment offerings and products, as well as our methods to make our offerings and products available to consumers, do not achieve sufficient consumer acceptance. Further, consumers' perceptions of our position on matters of public interest, including our efforts to achieve certain of our environmental and social goals (ESG), often differ widely and present risks to our reputation and brands. Consumer tastes and preferences impact, among other items, revenue from advertising sales." End quote. Said shortly, Disney suddenly recognizes they're up shit creek without a paddle, and that, quite simply, is not our problem. If we were all living through a game of civilization, we would be moving backwards culturally. I believe in genuine progress. So if you see somebody speaking your language online, support them. Because loud sentiment, when it's loud enough, you know, things move. People listen. People are forced to delay things and to respond. <laughs> and look at what bullshit responds Ubisoft farted out. You know, Ubisoft injected an ad that interrupts players when they're trying to open their map in a five-year-old game. You own this, but they're retroactively going back to put some ads in it, you know? Call of Duty does it, you know? So why can't, uh, why can't they do that? They're testing you right now. And you should be liking any videos with people roasting this to send as clear a message as with EA's pride and accomplishment Darth Vader loot boxes. This dingleberry of a Ubisoft, oh, it was a technical error response, got community noted to indicate that this has happened years ago. I'm done talking about this because I could get properly mad, but would it matter at the end of the day? I guess people can't like any of the video. I'm kidding, right? Ignore this video and watch niggas like me vanish. I'm just saying, not me specifically, but that's how it goes. I'd rather die than be silenced by cults preserving their sacred narrative all. Oh and you're avoiding clicking a fucking button to help expose these niggas when I trade a stress outlet of mine. This, this whole channel's a ball for me to squeeze. It's not gay. <laughs> but you're helping shield them so they could take advantage of the marks that they lovingly and disgustingly refer to as sweet babies. Consume the soy-soaked sushi squad slop, drenched and oozing with microtransactions and ESG designs. Ask if you can buy a shirt or a bumper sticker. You can just walk around in real life like an advertisement, you know? Like Fortnite? You want to buy a $10 Omni-Man voice back? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, this should be funny. Who would win in a fight? One white Spider-Man or a literal fridge, you know? You better go kill- I'm sorry, Mary Jane. I'm too old. I'm as old as Mary Jane looks. Fridge boss, you better start running. 
These incompetent nitwits will continue to fail upward, because as an actual artist I can proudly dictate that magnificent art is pain and misery channeled. It can be masochistic and sadistic and, and best executed by the horniest degenerates, mainstream soy boy media, and Jewish journalist Jasons trying to convince you that frat boy culture is bad? Nah, frat boy culture is what makes relatable successes that the sorority sisters, air quote, can't even coast on the wave of because they're so brain damaged. Maybe it's all of the treat Treatment. As in the writing treatment from corporations that try to shut this fucking channel down named Sweet Baby Inc. I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Until filthy, mean, but wildly creative, passionate, and talented pricks are hired, gaming's dead. Hire assholes. And if need be, chain them to the side or a floor in your fucking studio that the women don't come in groping range of, you know what I mean? Because some of us got a libido we can't fucking suppress, but that doesn't diminish what some of us are fucking capable of. Donation link in the description. You don't matter. The investors do. You don't matter. Your money does. You don't matter to Brian Inahar. Woke games journalists do, my nigga. Your money matters. He was going to double down, man. More Mary Jane portions, buddy. All of that chin on the hairs of my chinny chin chin. Public perception, public rejection has shown Disney people don't just disagree. They hate this shit. This forced, soulless panderverse. 10% of Tony Todd's performance. You know, of course a lot of things are hitting the cutting room floor, of course. We're potentially meant to assume that there'll be a DLC slash playable version of him in a, a multiplayer project in the future or something. But when you force the deaf black girl who is spray painting about racism, you have five Mary Jane portions, and then the voice actor comes out and says, damn, 10%. That's where gaming is going wrong. So let's say it again, if Disney can admit that ESG is unprofitable, maybe to force flat and ugly manly women with even more disgusting writing is, is, is not going to work, you know? For this broke ass industry right now. A Doctor Who episode recently brought back David Tennant, one of the best and most popular doctors, just to tell him that he's misgendering and tell him it's a shame he's not a woman anymore. And in case the this feels nitpicky, he had a line where he comes and goes, oh, I was a brilliant woman before, but now I have this old face again. And at the end, the Pandaverse mandated trans person on the show says, we know everything and you know nothing. No, for real, they say that. And then they them say something a male presenting Time Lord will never understand. Should I tell you more? <laughs> Can you imagine if I decided to weaponize this cringe? I'd be the bad guy, right? I'm the bad guy. This should be memed into oblivion. But even we are not that mean. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. With names, they should put the names of the writers on this motherfucker. Ah, stop, Kyle. Ooh, I could chisel that out of the marble right now. What absolute pants wedding comedy this will be when the pendulum continues to swing a bit more. And the beauty of it is that we won't have to, you know, touch it up. We won't have to repackage it for our Spike TV renaissance. We, we simply learned enough watching you to just recognize the garbage for the comedy it is. And the cult's conduct is so hilariously embarrassing that real girls keep telling us to just not laugh at it. No, that's mean. Because they'll pull out a bulb and they'll put it to there and they're going to, you better not laugh at me, I'm going to do it. I'm going to fucking do You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, no. You can't convince me woke media isn't fully aware and deliberately trying to sabotage, sanitize, desexualize with the intent of dividing any and everything they can get their brutish, veiny, masculine hands on. Bitch got hands like Peggy Hill got feet. It would be impossible to be unaware 
that you're sucking this hard. This is why I have plenty of worry in my heart with Grand Theft Auto 6 news, but hopefully events like this give them time to assess and sex it up, add the jiggle physics, be, be proper, come proper. <laughs> we need one more Bud Light level event and uh, I think we'll be good for that game to come out and not suck. You know what I mean? ESG is dead, Rockstar. Send the word. Light the beacons. <laughs> Voice actor Ned Luke, who played Michael in the fifth iteration of gaming's biggest IP, Grand Theft Auto, decided to stream on Thanksgiving for fans. And someone decided to swat him. My favorite voices in my head agree, it's all marketing, and that Rockstar might tattoo Grand Theft Auto on a dead hooker and pose her in a town square if they thought it might sell, but I'm not so convinced Rockstar is as imaginative as it potentially used to be back in its frat boy days. The observant voices in my head agree that it's probably hormonal producers and developers from the rest of the soy-soaked industry salty that anything associated with GTA is even happening. <laughs> They're probably gonna raise that bar. <laughs> But the voice in my head that's never wrong says simply, it's a lesson. And the lesson is that anything that gets too high profile inevitably goes to shit. I wish I could tell Ned that he kicks ass for extending himself as an entertainer even on a holiday for fans and that whomever did this hates him because they ain't him. But speaking as a gamer... We're hoping Rockstar uses their full bank account to let you go full Michael, if you know what I mean. Show some people what uh, what threatening their life and wasting people's time and money is all about. I'm already fucking worried about how woke the games are going to be as we kind of roll into the, the rest of these turds being just tr properly flushed down culture's toilet here. But I am honestly happy to share some laughs with you. I'm running a poll to see what you may like me to review from uh, some things that I have never seen before. Uh, it seems that Hellboy, Invincible, Chainsaw Man, and Back to the Future were the popular choices. I've seen a episode of uh, Chainsaw Man, but I didn't really get anywhere. Thank you so much, patrons and donators. You keep me moving, and I'm considerably more motivated to cover Sushi Squad now, so... Hopefully that doesn't get on your nerves, but I promise I'll make it entertaining. Probably get a Stellar Blade video out. Tell me what you want in the comments.